And there's our man, B.B. <laughs> Shea, in again. A little earlier. What's up? What's up? You were out rocking and rolling. Yeah, man. Long <laughs> night last night. Who'd you see? Black Crows. Yeah. In was Durham. It, it was, was fantastic. It? They were at a barbecue restaurant near here. There was an article written about it in the local newspaper, I that's believe. Right. That's right. Yeah. They, they came through and stopped in over to Honeymonk. That's my spot, by the way. Is it? Don't say that. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. The Honeymonk? Honey 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 right. honey I told you I love the Honeymonk. <laughs> <laughs> Only insiders call it that, you know. Otherwise, it's called Lexington Barbecue. Call it Honeymoon, yeah. you know, where I'm from. Okay, what? you can have a table. <laughs> <laughs> the waitress said, "How's the salad there, you're that pretty boy?" Okay, yeah, was, I yeah. haven't been in a while. <laughs> yeah, I haven't I, been in a while. I think the last time you were there, we were all eating together there. That's and possible. That's been a long time. That's a possible. Well, unless you went with fam. No, I haven't been in a long time. But you know, when I walk in, they're all like, ah, "Hey, my guy!" You know that. That didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> we walked in. They said, "How's How Murphy?" Many? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's like you were there with yeah. them. Yes, yes. Oh my God, they love me at the honeymoon. Mm. Yeah. Good Lord! It, the Black Crows mm. guys stopped in there on their way through. They make it a point. They love it. They love mm. the barbecue so much. And the waitress said, "Are y'all with a band?" And they said, yeah, we're Black Crows. Have you heard of it? She's like, of course. And they posted a picture. Now, it happened that Chris Dim and I were in Lexington, the same small About town. About a mile away. Yeah. Mile, the same day, which means the day we were in Lexington, we weren't even the most famous Chris's in Lexington. <laughs> that's, we a small, two, that's a small that town. That never happened. We were two and three. Yeah. Two at and best. Three. At, at best. best. Yeah. And there may have been probably another Chris in there. Yeah, I was going to say, Chris Robinson, he's definitely in my top three Chris's of all time now. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> One of you did not make the cut. I just want to let you know. Well, surely a Chris Pratt the, yeah, or no, a Chris Pye. Chris Tucker is Chris up there Tucker. for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Chris Tucker, Chris, Chris Rock, Robinson, Chris and, you Rock, know, yeah, yeah. Martin. Yeah. Jeez. There's a lot. There's a lot of Chris's <laughs> out there, aren't there? Yeah. Okay, now, uh, excited to have Biggie's movie review today. And then you'll wrap. Yeah, absolutely. Did and you buy any merch at the show before? I didn't. We... It's too freaking expensive. They don't well, have just stuff talking to about that. Talking fit about... my big ass, so I can't buy any of it. Don't say it. Next year, yeah. you should do the Biggie Wonderwall plan. Or whatever you pick a band, yeah, pick a band, pick a band, part. okay, and then slim down. <laughs> Don't do the old Black Crows diet. <laughs> that was heroin. <laughs> it works. The pounds just melt yeah, away. It works. Mm, the pounds yeah. without surgery. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It's, it's all natural. Yeah, it's yeah, all yeah. natural. Yeah. Yeah. Now you will have a jab. <laughs> <laughs> We move, you don't have, to jab, don't have to jab. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, you should Needles pick up. scare me anyway, yeah. so well, that's perfect. Pick a band yeah. and then lose 100 pounds or whatever. Right. Go see them okay. and then get into the... Get into the the outfit, yeah, the, okay. the shirt. Although they are expensive, we're just they talking are, about yeah. that. Uh, like 50, 60 bucks for a shirt. Unbelievable. Can't do it. That's, are you going to buy Yankees wear if they go to the World yeah, Series? Absolutely. Of course, you're going to buy me a hat. I figured. Team. Yeah. I figured you've got to. I think they have uh, the inside path mm. for the. I was ready team. to trade Aaron Judge the other night. Well, he's not, not play. he's not playing. No, well. he's playing terrible. He got a hit last night though. Yeah. yeah. I saw him get a double last night mm. as eh, or single. I mean, you know. But if he comes through, he may come through. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. I was uh, hearing that, um, in fact, it's interesting you brought that up. This is really inside baseball. But I saw someone interviewed yesterday about why he struggles in the postseason. And it's because during the regular season, it's – John Smoltz was saying this. It's too long a season to concentrate on just one hitter on the Yankees. But when it's playoff, A, the pitching's better. Mm. And B, they will say, we're getting him – we're not letting him beat us. You know, we're True. getting him yeah. out. And then, uh, so he doesn't have the numbers that translate. Although some people are just great clutch playoff which, players. Which a lot of people have had that problem in their career. Oh, true. You know, true. Clayton they Kershaw have, was yeah. famous for it. Uh, yeah. But then again, some Jeter or T true. Ex, you know, are better. Some in the people playoffs. just have it. I know. Yeah. In the playoffs, they're better. Mm. It's a weird. It's a weird thing. Yeah. You know. Who do you have in your World Series? Mm, you know, if the Padres win tonight. Uh, I'm gonna go Mets Yankees. Another Subway Series. Oh, but if the Dodgers if win, the Dodgers win Yankees Dodgers. That'd be something. Mm, yeah. That Either would, way, I think great ratings. I think they'd prefer Dodgers Yankees. Yeah. They, they want Otani and Judge, and they want West Coast, East Coast. Mm, and mm -hmm. I mean, that's the classic matchup. Mm, yeah. that, I know that's what they're praying for. What they don't want is Guardians, Padres. Padres. That's, that would be that's terrible. The they don't yeah. Want. Biggie's time is now for his uh, movie reviews. Today's movie I had not heard of before. It's called The Innocence. This is every single October, of course, he does one movie per day in October. Uh, all horror movies. The Innocence is a movie from 1961. And I had never heard of it before, but Biggie says it comes highly recommended. 
So we have his review, we have a clip of the movie, and then Biggie will tell us what it's all about. There has never been a ghost story created especially for the adult moviegoer until The Innocents. <laughs> Now, that's 1961. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that scares me. Mm -hmm. That's frightening. That's an interesting angle, too, yeah. from a marketing point of view, because I guess monster movies were for the teeny boppers. Mm -hmm. Never a ghost story like this for the adults, he in, says. In fact, the British board, the ratings board, initially rated it X. No one under 16 was even allowed in the theater. Now, I think that's great marketing then and now. Remember, was it Alfred Hitchcock who would say, like, for Psycho, no one is allowed to be mm -hmm. seated. What during the last during the mm -hmm. last ten minutes? Yeah, of the movie they or... did it with a couple of other movies too. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then they would say like, pregnant women are not allowed, should not see this movie, and it would be like, what? Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, that's a... you ever see Psycho? No, never got around to that one. I know I need to see it. Wow, yeah, that's a classic. That is a resume. Wow. No, I that's know. a, that's a big classic. Miss. You can't be a film buff. I know. And I'll tell you. Well, and we're not on Psycho, but it's about the same time. I think Psycho came out in 1960. That is, I mean, to me, it holds up. Are you it talking is, about the original or the Vince Vaughn the, the one? Original. See, I saw the oh Vince Vaughn one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, you it's a did double not. Deduction. Yeah, I saw the, the Vince Vaughn one, not the original. And it was pretty good. <laughs> I just assume you were talking about the original. Jeez. So, yeah. Go see the original. <laughs> my God. <laughs> but not about Psycho. About the innocence is what we're talking about. That. What's it about, Big? Well, it is about a young governess. Hmm who becomes convinced that the children she's now watching, governess is another word for nanny. Thank you. <laughs> she seemed a little off at first. Sound of music. Yeah. Sound there of you go. She's a governess. <laughs> yes. yes, she is. Um, yes. That she's convinced that something's wrong with the two children, okay. that they might be possessed. What does oh. it mean? Okay, all right. So mm -hmm. she goes, um, she gets this job. This is her first job as a governess. She moves to this lovely mansion. Mm -hmm. and when she gets there, there's a little girl there first. You meet her. Creepy? Creepy kids, for sure. Okay. Um, but she seems nice enough. Mm -hmm. The brother's off at boarding school. Well, he they get a letter. He's sent home. He's back. The worst. That's mm -hmm. a terrible letter. Like, what? We but got rid of him. <laughs> now she's back. also become friends with the, this maid mm -hmm. and the other help of the house. And they're all shocked. Cause they're like, oh, such a sweet little boy. Oh, yeah. Well... As the movie pr progresses, you can tell something's off with the kids. Mm -hmm. With both. With both. They're whispering together. Also, she starts seeing things around the mansion. The governess? Yes. Uh, ghosts. Mm -hmm. You know, other things keep happening. Loud voices, m you know, laughing. Mm -hmm. That was well, creepy laughter in the uh, little trailer. It was. That was, yeah. a good, that was a good laugh, yeah. Well, it winds up that the driver who... Uh, Used to drive the uncle around that hired her. He uh, he died on the grounds, and his lover died on the grounds too. Okay, so we've had a, a driver and his yes. lover pass on the ground before she was ever before there. she was ever there. So they're the ghosts. Bingo. All right, and they then possess the children. Okay, the children are possessed. <laughs> I like your style of review. What is going on with you? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, every year it's a say, <laughs> dramatic build up. I love do you, it. Do you know we're speaking into microphones <laughs> here? Then, uh, I like the build up. I'm trying to build the. Uh, I the kids. They possess the kids. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to I, I noticed, I've noticed a style with your review. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> today. <laughs> Trying to give a little more. She's there. <laughs> well, there's a the guy. kid is. There's a truck. <laughs> <laughs> Laughter. <laughs> this is your yeah. cadence with just this, with nothing especially else. Especially this. <laughs> and especially today. It sounds like you're making it up on the way. Like a kid who didn't know his homework. That's right. Guy. Yeah, you're like you're making the, up the term. Yeah, you're just glancing at the wiki page. <laughs> <laughs> She's, uh,. Born in 1920. Uh, well, I forget oddly, her name. Uh, <laughs> oddly enough, I have some. Okay. Well, what what happens after that? Okay, so eventually the kids are possessed. We know that. I don't want to spoil. <laughs> I don't want to spoil the ending. There is a. It's kids a, are possessed. It's a sad, sad ending. I don't want to spoil. It's a sad it. ending. Yeah. <laughs> but they were innocent. The they innocent, were. The they innocent. innocent. They were. The innocents are no longer. Yes. Um, but. Now, as far as I will say this, this movie is shot beautifully. Okay, it is gorgeous. Black, black and white. Black and white. Mm -hmm. But it's stunning to look at. Yes. In fact, um, 
the I guess the director of photography mm. purposely made it this way. He used really bright light, so bright in fact that the lead actress on the set would wear sunglasses when not shooting scenes. Oh, wow. And it's such a start because it's everything is dark. It's, it's set in the 1860s. Oh, it's set in the 1800s. No, wow. So, yeah, so okay. you know, you had it's basically just candlelight. Mm-hmm. But it was so I thought to myself as I'm watching I'm like this is unbelievably clear mm-hmm. for a black and white picture, and that's yeah. one of the reasons. Well, usually really you don't get focused that. in. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, it is listed as one of the a lot of people listed in the top three ghost stories of all time mm-hmm. movies. Um, really? Yes. It was based off of a, I guess, a novel from the eighteen nineties, uh, like Turn the Key. Mm-hmm. But Turn to the Screw. Turn to the Screw. Oh, wow. Henry James. Well, yes. He read However, that back in grade school or right. mm-hmm. high school. Yes. Now, that's what it was based off of, but Truman Capote actually um, took a break from writing In Cold Blood in order to rewrite the screenplay for this movie. Truman Whoa. Capote wrote the screenplay. <laughs> yes. Wait a minute. Here comes Chris Dim's impression of Truman Capote. If you haven't heard it, get ready. There's some children. <laughs> There's a woman. There's a death. Take a lesson, Biggie. <laughs> that's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> that's not writing. That's typing. <laughs> that's I a, rarely get to do my typing. That's, that's a rare one. Yeah. yeah, it's a rare. Nobody does Don Henley no, or Truman I, Capote anymore. <laughs> Chris Jim does. He will do it. He'll do shares if we need it. This was Truman Capote. Truman Capote's been dead thirty-five years. Doesn't matter. He'll do it. I love that. <laughs> All right. Okay. We know it in sadly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes. Now this was not a box office hit in the U.S. when it came here. It was mm-hmm. a, it premiered in, in the U.K. first. Mm-hmm. However, they considered a box office win there at the time. It made over a million and a half dollars, which was a lot. Big deal. A lot of money. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Now this I thought was interesting. The children in the movie, the director did not want to expose them to the real dark themes. So instead of giving them the whole script, he would give them one page a day that their part was on. Oh, and say this yeah. is what, but let me tell you, the kids they found play it really, really Real well, creepy. Real especially creepy. the little boy. Did they ever go on to be anything? No, no actors you've heard of. No one that I've heard of. Okay. So um, I guess the main star is she considered it her best work. Her name was um, Deborah Kerr. Oh, oh Deborah Carr. Carr from, from Here to Return. Yeah. Okay. She thinks this is better than From Here she to Eternity. She thinks this is her best work. Good Boy, Lord. she's really talented. Mm-hmm. She was at The King and I. Chris Tim will do his impression of Deborah Carr. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do it by Yule Brenner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, give, the King it, give us your Yule Brenner from the King and I. Sit, sit, sit. <laughs> okay, that's right. You all don't know that's good, but that's really, really How good. How is head higher than King's head? <laughs> there you have it. And by the way, his Truman Capote is spot yeah. on. Yeah. I mean, people don't even know who Truman Capote is, but that is spot on. Now, the, yeah. you. the male actor. <laughs> <laughs> yes. The male actor. The male actor who got top billing mm. um, is really the guy who just plays a ghost. Yeah. He never has lines. Oh, really? No yeah. lines. No he, lines. Just, wow. he just laughs. Yeah. His whole deal is he laughs and is just kind of in the window. Well, we heard the laugh. Yeah. Which was fantastic. The uncle is played by Michael Redgrave, um, who... Any Kendall in Grid Grid. It's a big family of English uh, actors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But he um, was in it briefly. He's only in the beginning, basically, mm-hmm. where he says to her, I don't want anything to do with these children. Mm-hmm. That's why I've hired you. I'm mm-hmm. sending you to the estate. Mm-hmm. Don't. There's always. A, I thought this was ridiculous. No matter what, don't call me with any problems. <laughs> That's what I always say. <laughs> yeah. I always say that. Do not. I tell yeah. my daughter, don't call me. <laughs> yeah. Don't call and me. He's, with like, any he's problems. like, I travel around. I might be in Africa, so I wouldn't yeah. even know if something bad happened. <laughs> not a red flag. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> By the way, listen to the difference between me and Chris Tim. He does a brilliant impression of Truman Capote. I say, any Kendallin red grave? <laughs> <laughs> We've exposed it. Yeah, that's, that, that, our backgrounds are different. He says, "Oh, by Henry James, I worked at Henry James." <laughs> I yeah. He barbecue. said Henry James. I thought barbecue, uh, barbecue immediately. Of I was like, "Yeah, that's barbecue, Henry James barbecue." Of course, he's not oh, the English author. Oh, yeah, Henry yeah. James. Yes. How many pumpkins did you give this film? I was shocked how much I enjoyed it, and especially just even the black and white really adds to it. Mm-hmm. I give it seven pumpkins. All right, okay. that's a great review. Okay. Yeah, tremendous review today. Mm-hmm. Did, did BB Shea hear your? Your southern girl slow down yesterday? Oh, yeah, you did. No. I, I, I know big, we have to get well, the big this, next movie. Yeah, this, yeah. this is horror-related as well. Okay. Uh, you you and I were at the haunted house yeah, at yeah, Scream yeah. Dreams. Mm-hmm. When I was doing makeup, when they were putting that makeup on me, 
they it was being recorded behind the scenes. Behind okay, the scene. I didn't even know that. My eyes were closed. I didn't even know. Okay. That. So the woman and I were talking, who was doing my makeup. Mm. She's a college student who loves like creativity. She's in the theater program, so mm. she's doing the makeup. And she asked me like how I got into radio. So I said, well, I wanted to be a play-by-play announcer, and I like sports, football, basketball, baseball. Well, the person who shot the video to make it like scary, I guess, slowed it down to slow motion. <laughs> okay. So listen to what a hick I sound like now. First, I start by saying that I really enjoy football, basketball, baseball. Then she asked more about like, you know, how's the radio show? How'd you get into it? Football, baseball, or basketball. Yeah. I love them all. Yeah. And then uh, once I got into radio, I just fell into the radio itself and yeah. done it ever since. Yeah. yeah. I think that's awesome. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then the coup de gras at the end. Well worked out. I respect <laughs> any creative uh-huh. that Thank can you. do something like that. Well, we try. <laughs> Lord knows. Lord knows. Lord knows. Lord knows. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's a scene from Fried Green Tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. He's Lord right. knows we try. Lord, Lord knows, knows we try. Knows. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Is there anything more to the innocence? Uh, I was going to tell you this. Uh, you can stream or watch for free on YouTube. YouTube. I, oh. It's not actually streaming on anything. I Chris Kelly said, check YouTube. Pulled it up. It's Right there, whole movie. Went to the ex- the extra mile and watched it How on about YouTube. That? Yeah, it is cool. Uh, what's Monday's movie, Biggie? That is a great question. <laughs> <laughs> it will. There's a thing. There's movies. <laughs> no, I, I can tell watch you it. Uh, right at this time. I can tell you this. It'll be a horror movie. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Fairly scary, I'm sure. Um, <laughs> Someone didn't look at his own. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, it's a movie called The Cat People, an the, old, uh, oh. another classic. If, uh, the original? I think they've yes, remade the original. it. They've, what year was the original? It was a year. Nineteen <laughs> 60s? 60s? 50s? Okay. Because they remade it yeah, like, way back. like 83. They early remade 80s, it. Yeah. They, remade. they remade it. I've seen that one from HBO. Not that great. No, the remake. No, it wasn't. <laughs> Thank you, Biggie. Thank you, Biggie. Tremendous review. Thank Absolutely. you, Biggie. <laughs> <laughs> Tough act to follow, yes, baby. I know. Yeah, I know. Are you ready to yes. recap 